Good morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut. Lauren and I are out here in Brooklyn, Connecticut today, washing this pool patio, which is nasty. And then I've got this absolutely roasted Trex deck, hasn't been cleaned for years and years. So I've got the Remco back here. I'm pulling some 6% in about a minute, just cycling through right here. We're also gonna post treat this concrete when we're done. So anyway, we're getting ready to go. Again, I'm gonna nuke this deck because it's nasty. In my opinion, almost beyond cleaning. Again, like I was just saying, this deck is roasted. Client thinks that this top deck is clean. Of course it is not, at least not to our standards. So this bottom deck though, is wasted. All right, we're about five minutes dwell time. Everything's dead, 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 dead. And I'm gonna come through here with the M5 momentarily on, an, on a lance and uh, blast all this off. Hey, Lauren and I are set up on the next project in Brooklyn, Connecticut, and we've got this nasty concrete patio to clean. Lauren's on the hammerhead surface cleaner doing a great job. Instant results. I'm going to come back here and post treat this with some 3% when she's done. And then we get a regular old cape house wash, pretty good size, dormers in the front porch, you know, normal. We just blew a hundred foot hose. I'm taking the fittings off, nice stainless fittings. Putting them on my new gray one wire hose from Russ. We got two more fifties in stock. I don't think I get anything else at home, so I'll probably order a couple more hundreds today. Need a vice on the truck. Makes your life easy. All right, we have surface cleaned, turbo nozzled, and now I'm gonna post treat. This is gonna come out fabulous. All right, we got Lauren downstreaming on the gable end over there, working her way around back to the front where we are. I'm going to pre-treat this walkway. I don't usually pre-treat, I usually post-treat. I also don't usually do a lot of concrete, so I'm not the expert on concrete by a long shot, but I don't know that pre-treating does a lot for me. Post-treating, I know, does an awful lot for me. Takes all my swirl marks out, fixes my blemishes. This is 3% I'm laying on here now as a pre-treat. And we're going to see what kind of better, if any better, result we get. I'm also going to hit those funky stairs because those are nasty. And we'll let this hang out while Lauren works her way around here. Notice I'm pushing more towards the mulch than I am the lawn because we are going to kill grass with this mix.
There goes hose number two for the day. Yay. All right, I took the time to build my other two 50-foot hoses while Lauren was washing. We're at 250 feet on there now of reasonably new hoses. I think I got two hoses on there that are a few weeks old. I have blown a few hoses recently, but right now five, excuse me, four pretty fresh hoses. We got a brand new 100 and we got 350s on there, so 250. And that's the all I got. I got no more hose. So we're making a, a order to Russ right now between jobs. All right. <laughs> we are out here in Zadora Heights in Killingly doing some gutter cleaning. I don't know. He says they were cleaned last year. No, he didn't. It's been several years, obviously, since he's been cleaned. So we're going to auger them out with the 525. We got Lauren down bottom with a 125, cleaning up my mess. Here we go. Mr. Beef is up there, throwing chum. See? And he keeps saying he's got some new technique called scoot your butt. So, y'all might want to run to have that patent. See? Scoot your butt. Can you demonstrate that again? Yep, that's all, folks. Oh, okay. Hey, man, quit all it. All right, that wasn't as much fun as I thought it was going to be. I wound up having to clean it by hand and then blow it out with a blower, as you saw from Lauren's video down below. Hoping the back out is not quite as difficult. Lots of pine cones. All right, Lauren and I are finishing up this crazy cape. All sorts of angles wraps around the back there's a crazy pool over there some decking in the back it's a mess in the back we've been working diligently nearly done lauren's on final rinse we've only got this little area here left to do we're out in the middle of nowhere today on a country well and we're down to about two bars of water we got one more project to do before we can wrap it up and take the weekend. Lauren and I are working on the last project of the day. We got a regular old cape house, vinyl siding, piece of cake, just wrapping things up. We're gonna be done for the week. Tomorrow and Sunday, I'm doing some rebuild on the rig. We're getting the 5.5 back on. We're getting the X6 back hooked up. At least those are my plans. Catch you guys later.